happening, everybody? It is Sunday afternoon of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrifty over 50, starring JPEG. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. And we're back. We're on the air. What's happening, everybody? Good morning, Mom, or afternoon, I guess. Yeah, I got, yeah 3 o'clock here, just getting yeah. past your lunchtime. I'm but still my PJ, so. I'm actually home today for a change. <laughs> no, no wild travels. <laughs> You're not going nowhere today? Not today. Had a busy weekend with our, our 55 year class reunion. So that was a lot of fun. Got to see a few classmates I have not seen since we graduated. So that wow, was. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one I could recognize, one I could not. So, you know, the other ones you see uh, kind of every few years, every five or ten, depending when we have one. But uh, we had a good time. We were downtown in Cleveland in the flats at Shooters. Uh, our classmate Roger Losey owned Shooters. So we got to uh, have the balcony upstairs, which is a beautiful spot overlooking the river and the east bank of the flats, which is just beautiful now, as Jason knows, because last year we had uh, Stacy's birthday party down there. So uh, it was a beautiful night, and the weather cooperated, and it was gorgeous. We had a great time. So before we get into our uh, topic, I want to want to share a little something with you. So if you look at this, uh, where, where's my hand go? Right there. If you look at this little symbol right here. That is the Marilyn Manson symbol, and tonight I'm going to see Marilyn Manson in and Slipknot. And uh, I, I wanted to bring that up for a reason, because um, although Mom doesn't uh, uh, enjoy it or understand it, when I was growing up, uh, music became a very important part of uh, my day-to-day -day life, and Mom never, uh, Mom and Dad never tried to uh, stifle my musical tastes. Oh. So last night we were at... Um, uh, Jersey Boys, which is the Broadway musical story of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. And I know this is going to be sacrilege to say, but to me, Frankie Valli was way better than Frank Sinatra. Yeah, well, and, you know, he had a better voice than Frank. I, I'll oh, agree oh with yeah. You. I, Frank was not a good yeah. singer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dean Martin Dean Martin is number one for me, then Frankie Valli. So last night I was singing Sherry, Sherry Baby, and tonight I'm going to be singing People Equal Shit. So, you know, Mom never tried to stifle my musical uh, taste. <laughs> <laughs> and and I enjoyed last night because I've seen it five times as yeah. much as I'll enjoy tonight. So yeah, mom, I've seen it. I think three or four times I've seen Jersey yeah. Boys. Great musical. If though, though for those of you if you haven't seen it, if it comes to your area, try and go see that one. It's really a a good good show. You won't so be disappointed. To have the taste from uh, Slipknot and Marilyn Manson to Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. <laughs> I have to say, Jace, you you are the only person I know with such a wide variety of taste of music. I mean, I know a lot of people that like music, but yours goes from one extreme to the other, and I, you fascinate your mom. You really do. <laughs> you know, it's, funny enough, I've seen Marilyn Manson in the same week uh, with three uh, three times. I've seen Marilyn where the other concert that week was very the opposite. So I've seen Marilyn, and then I've seen Bette Midler in the same week. Wow. I've seen Marilyn and Phil Collins in the same week, <laughs> and then this week I saw the Jersey Boys and Marilyn Manson. So. Yeah. Quite the extreme, that's for sure. Yep. So I, I, I got to warm my neck up because tonight will be a lot of headbanging. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get right into uh, what we're talking about today. And <clears throat> I take I take two tools when I go thrifting. I have my phone and my pocket knife. My pocket knife is a pretty easy tool to understand. I use it really for three things. Sometimes uh, stores or garage sales or whatever tape things up and I need to see them. So I cut it open. Sometimes I need to pry something open. And a lot of times in the thrift stores, they put the label, uh, the, the price sticker right over the maker's mark. I got to see it. And it'd be easy thing to have a knife. So that's very simple. Now, the phone is your other tool that you need. Yeah. Uh, Here's mine. Yep. I uh, have it. For a variety of reasons. And what's, what's amazing, and we've had this conversation with people who still don't have phones or have flip phones. Every tool that you could have had to have in the past in your wallet, purse, pocket, it's all right here. Yeah. It's all right here. It's you amazing. don't need a loop. You don't need a magnifying glass. You can do that all right here. Yeah. There's yeah. a level on your phone. If you need to hang a picture, need a level, there's a level on your phone. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't it have. So, uh, so today we want to talk about using the, um, the video chat feature. We're going to show you three different ways to do it. Uh, it's all the same end effect. You're just video chat with somebody. Uh, and, and here's why that has become a very important tool. So when I moved to L.A. in 2000, um, Mom had a hard time understanding the whole time difference thing. So she'd be at a garage sale at 8 a.m. and call me at 5 a.m. 
to ask me if she should buy this quarter item. And I said, are you really waking me up for a quarter? Yes, I did. Many times. No, then I would say, here, Ma, here's 20 bucks. Buy a lot of quarter items and then wake me up. <laughs> uh, it took me a while, but I got there. But back then it was a phone call and and to right. describe the item and so sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't I'm like eh, whatever and then of course once we could text pictures that was easy because snap a picture send me the picture I did and that then, a lot that that we did quite a oh, bit yeah. oh yeah oh so much really because it's who's in your Rolodex so you know um, if mom sees a bunch of music she doesn't know like I know it so she'd send me a picture and I'd be like all right you need to buy that CD that CD that CD. And then um, when FaceTime and video chat became very easy to do on all your phones, uh, now it is just super duper easy to go thrifting from your couch. If someone else is someplace thrifting or antiquing or flea marketing, you don't got to leave. Right. So you could go thrifting. Now, for an example, our good friend Tim Taylor is in a wheelchair. His current van that can take his wheelchair is broken. We're trying to raise money to get him a new one. And he was, we were talking the other day, he's like, you know, I should just send one of my helpers to the thrift store because I can't get there easily right now and just yeah. FaceTime with her and, and see the stuff. So that's what we're going to do in a couple minutes here is we have our friends Robin and Jim at a Goodwill down the street and we're going to see what they find. Right. So Fun. you Fun. could go thrifting or if you find something that's in my mom's wheelhouse and my mom's on your, in your phone, you could just FaceTime her and show her live right and and if your family is out doing flea markets or garage sales or whatever and they think there's something that you might want then they you know just FaceTime you as well because it works both ways they don't have to be thrifters but they know you're a thrifter and so just FaceTime and show them what you got yeah and now where this came in handy for me is uh, I was at a garage sale and they just had the most yarn I'd ever seen in my life. Now, I know there's money in yarn based on the people I hang around, like Nadine, the co-host of Thrifty Business. But she knows yarn really well. So I popped my headset in, I FaceTimed her, and it was all laid out on the, on the driveway. So I just walked over it, holding my phone, and in my ear I could hear, grab that, skip that, oh, get closer to that, grab that, skip that. There, I conquered yarn without having to do much. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's really the best. It is the best. Now I'll even dial it back, and then and then we'll we'll start using it. I'll dial back one more step. So back in the day when I was uh, just selling music, it, that was a product very easy to look up because there was a barcode. So I'd call my poor wife at her office job. I remember <laughs> and, that. And I have all this stack, you know, because I knew a lot, but still, there's always stuff you don't know. I'd have a stack of like 20 things that I thought could be good for the price, and so I'd go back to the corner of the store, and then she would be on Amazon just typing in barcodes for me. And just real quick, yes or no's, because I taught her how to read the screen. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. Totally forgot about that. I remember you doing oh, that. That was before smartphones. Right. Now, that yeah. was just flip phones. Right. All right. So uh, let's get, let's do this. And so let me uh, screen share. And so here's what we're going to start with first. We are going to start with FaceTime first. Now, FaceTime is an Apple product. And if you have an Apple product and you're calling an Apple product, FaceTime is the way to go. Um because it's just very direct and we actually practice on the three things we're going to show you today even though it's using the same camera it has something to do with the software the FaceTime was the clearest picture of the three all right so let me uh, so this is my iPad screen that you're seeing just live here so we're going to just tap the person we want to call and so that uh, they actually have my wife's phone so we're going to tap Stacy's phone and so right now it is calling Stacy's phone with FaceTime. And uh, oh, we gotta get this up here so you guys can hear hear them. Hello. Well, hello, Robin. How are you? <laughs> do you hear her okay, Mom? I can hear you. So one thing oh. I do want to say is if you do this with somebody, please, please, please have your headset in. I cannot stand when people are in a store FaceTiming without their headset. I don't want to hear your conversation, and you don't want to hear mine. <laughs> All right, so Robin is in a Goodwill right now down the street. So, Robin, why don't you uh, – um, and then I'll show you on – Oops. What happened? We froze up, Jace. Can you hear me?
I don't hear you. I don't know if you hear mom, but we are frozen here. Robin is frozen. Do I need to take her out? I'm going to X. I'm going to close her out. That no, didn't go away. I probably can't do it on my end. Oop. You are back. Can you hear me? No, I cannot. Cannot hear you. Can you hear mom? Okay. Yeah, nothing nothing from you yet. Nothing. Sorry, guys, those of you who can hear me out there. Technical difficulty. No, can't hear you yet. No. Nothing, honey. Don't hear anything. Oh, I think he's writing me a note. Oh, talk. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> what can I talk about? <laughs> uh, while he's trying to figure that out. Um, I only got out one. Oh, oh. I think you're there. Yeah, I am on, on the, I don't know why you couldn't hear me on the other computer. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but you got a riff when I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't sure how long we were going to be taken. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right. So here's what's happening. Uh, and I, I was hoping it wasn't going to happen today. My my new, brand new computer keeps rebooting. Oh. So that was the problem. So, yes. So we're back. Okay. Sorry, gang. Right. Let's okay. try this again. All right. Hang on, Robin. No worries. All right. Hang on a second. Yeah, so it's not the uh, mobile technology that failed us. It's my desktop computer, brand new, costs a lot of money. Sons of bitches. All right. Yep, 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 yep. So I do apologize for the error. Okay. I think Robin just hung up on me, too. So, yeah, there we go. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. All right, so hey, we're back. All right, let's get this shared again here. There's Robin. All right, there we go. Okay. There's Robin at the store. All right, Robin. So uh, what I was trying to tell people is that um, you can flip the camera around at the bottom here. So it's the farthest one to the left. If you touch that, it'll flip the camera around. So now you're seeing the bottle of rum on my desk. That's the other camera. And then now you're seeing me. Hello. Hello. All right. So Robin's going to do the same thing. She's going to flip the camera out and show you some of the stuff that she bought or she found. Okay. You guys ready? Okay. So first off, I have to tell you. Like, so hold it, hold it, hold it slower. See that? It's you, brightened. Nice. Yeah. Brand new with tag. What is it? A little uh, clutch or is it a makeup bag? It's a, um, they call it a pocket, and it has a wristlet, brand new. A wristlet, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the inside. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this one-handed. So, okay, so brand new on eBay goes for about thirty dollars. All right, hang on a minute. And hang on a minute. I yeah, I know. Everybody saw me that. Where I know. I know. I, mean, I don't know why my my mom is now stuck on the main screen. I am. Can you uh huh. Hear me? No, you. We can hear you. Okay. 
because it doesn't look stuck down below. You know where oh, my. Oh, I think I'm controlling it down here now. All right, hang on a minute. Boy, technology. <laughs> technology has failed me today. Oh, it happens. All right. All right, hang on a minute. See, I don't know who's controlling the screen now. All right, so let's start that. Okay, there's Robin. All right, so let's see if Robin's on the screen here in a few seconds. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll be having a stern talk with Apple tomorrow. <laughs> Very stern talk. Yes. Okay, good. We're All right, go, Robin. You're on. Okay. So then I found this Lulu purse. Let me see if I can. I'm sorry. I'm doing this one-handed, folks, so hang tight. Maybe Jim can help me. There we go. Yes, you have a lovely so assistant. Put him to work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you go. It's a little, but it's big. Do you see how big? It's like a tote. So it's super pink, super cute. It's got this uh, really cool inside. So I looked online really quickly. This is now, this, mind you, folks, this is like 20 minutes of shopping. It's like goes for $48. Nice. So it's super cute. Okay. And then, Peggy, this is for us tiki girls. Okay. Then I'm hanging up with you after this one and calling you on a different platform. Okay. So do you see the shells? Look at those. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's a nice straw bag. And then it's woven, super cute inside. I haven't looked this up, but you know, if you put Tiki on your description, I bet you could probably get 30 bucks for this because it's unique enough. I think I could probably get 30 free shipping. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, Jason. I'm hanging up and I'm calling you back. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay, so one thing I forgot to, uh, I want. I should have started with, is down here, uh, this is Skype. Whoops. As you can see, I have Skype, I have FaceTime, and I have Messenger down at the bottom. Those are the three things that you can use to video chat because there's video chat and Messenger is Facebook. There's video chat built into that. And what you can do is I'm going to show you another little tip right now. And this is only for Apple products. I'm sorry, Android users. Uh, I don't know how this works. But you can make a little folder, a little grouping of your three uh, video chat uh items. So we're going to take Skype, FaceTime, and Messenger and put them together in a folder. So touch one of them and hold your finger down until they're um, vibrating just like that. Now drag it and drop it right on top of something else, and now they're together in a little folder. So let's go back, and now we're going to hold down Messenger and do the same thing and drop it in here. And the folder is uh, called Social. That, that's what they called it, but we can call it anything we want, so we'll call it video chat. Done. Very cool. All right, and then and touch your home button so it'll stop vibrating. So now on your first screen here, you have a video chat button. So if you touch that, inside the video chat button, we have FaceTime, we have Skype, and we have Facebook Messenger. Yes, you can Skype for free because we're going to do that next. So let's touch Skype, and we're going to call um, Robin on Skype. So here is, uh, see the little camera up in the right-hand corner? We're going to tap on that. And so now it is video calling Robin again. Now keep in mind that some stores are so big that they're, the reception's crummy. So it has nothing to do with your phone. It's just the big store. And see, maybe we're having a problem connecting on Skype right now. Yeah. Did you try Skype with her before or just FaceTime? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But she's a little deeper in the store right now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her to move towards the front. All right. We're going to hang up on Skype. Oh. Yep. I just hung up on Skype. Okay. And so we're going to go to Messenger. So uh, this is uh, Facebook Messenger. And. If you go to the top here, you will see a little camera in the upper right-hand corner. So we're going to tap on that. So now we're video video calling through Facebook. I've, I haven't done that one myself, Jace. I always use FaceTime. So. Okay, Stace, stop texting me right now because you're, you're screwing it up.
And the problem is, the problem is, Robin's got Stacy's phone, and Stacy has her little tablet, and so it's the same person competing with my time right now. Ah. All right, we're going to go back to uh, FaceTime because that seems to be the only one working properly in where she's located in the store right now. Yeah. So let's try FaceTime again. Mm. And where is Robin? <laughs> Rap Ola. Oh, wait, I just got a text from them. Hang on a minute. Okay, see, maybe they're having troubles. Yep. Uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, move closer to the front. I know this is not thrilling uh, viewing right now, and I'm sorry. Well, we did, we did we're giving her a trial run, and it worked. <laughs> but maybe, like you say, maybe she needs to stay closer to the front of the store a little bit. Yeah, like the one, the, the biggest uh, savers here, it, the reception, the whole place is horrible. But this Goodwill, it's closed and it's pretty open, so um, it was working just fine. So, crap. Yeah, bummer. Well, let's ask the. The uh, folks out there that are watching right now, how many of them have used FaceTime uh, when you are out shopping uh, to, to call someone for help or, or they, they're calling you because they found something that you might be interested in? Are, are any of you using it out there? Yo. Is it not ringing at all? All right. Are you guys deep in the store? Okay. Shoot. All right, let me try again because it is. I tried all three. Yeah. All right, I'm trying FaceTime again. Keep talking, Mom. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well we'll try. Do we get any answers? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I cannot see video chat because I don't have another monitor uh, to put that on FaceTime. Try it. So we're just. Uh, uh, you know, if you are asking any questions, I don't, I don't see them. I can't answer you. Jason would have to look. So, if any of you are using this uh, in your shopping excursions, uh, I highly recommend it because I've done it many times. Are we got? Oh, we're connecting. There we go. Hey, Robin. <laughs> so here could be the other problem. Stacy using her tablet might have really interrupted this. So uh, I never thought to tell her to stay off, but whoops. Okay, Jason, turn off your Skype. It's calling me. I don't got it on. That's funny. Hang on. Hi. Can you hear me, Jace? Because uh, we're frozen up over here. Okay, talk. All right. Well, uh, I, I did go outsourcing uh, yesterday. Regan and I go to this yearly flea market, and I did find some goodies. Um, I can start to show those, Jason, if you want, Mom, too. Um, I'm going to start with just a couple of simple, easy things. I found this mug, Halloween mug, uh, but the name on the bottom is German, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Wachtersbach. Wachtersbach made in Spain actually um, and I only paid a dollar for this but these are selling for around 20 bucks to 30 bucks so hopefully to get some uh, decent money out of that and I'm gonna put that up right away <clears throat> Regan's already taking pictures today so I will be uh, getting that going um, then we found uh, don't hear you honey then I found this Occupy Japan uh, mug it's got a steer on one side and this funny looking little hillbilly as the handle and it is marked Occupy Japan on the bottom let's see if I can get that into view there we go and Occupy Japan usually sells pretty well um, this also cost me two bucks 
and I'm going to put that up for $19.99 as well. And let's see, continuing on, since we're talking about um, some things made in Japan, I'll stick with that theme. Uh, Parakeet Birds in 3D. Um, she had $3 on it for the pair. We got them for $2 on the pair. And uh, they are stamped. They still have the original sticker on both of these. Let me see if I can get that. Oh, hard to see. There we go. There's the original sticker. And um, I, I wish I could. I, I, I don't have my magnifying glass in front of me, so I can't quite read it. But I, I, know, it's a, I know it's a Japan. But um, these are quite lovely. They're, they're parakeets. I would call them, I would think. Uh, and they are, they are. if you look close, they actually are two different designs. See, one has the dark blacker tails compared to the bluer tails. So we're going to be putting those up for uh, uh, around 20 bucks uh, per plate. I'm, I'm going to sell them individually. Um, Jace, can you still hear mom? I, I guess. Do you hear me? Do you hear mom? Can't tell. Sorry, gang, that we're having such difficulties. Um, I don't know if any of you ever run across much in your aunt if you're antiquing. This is also occupied Japan. Oops, hello. Are you there? No, I do not. Cannot hear you. Okay. Bummer, bummer. Okay. Uh, this is a sugar and creamer of tomatoes. They're quite popular these days. And uh, they are marked... Um, you can't see it really. It's a very, very fine little tiny print on the bottom. But it is also occupied Japan. Uh, my fault. Now, here's something to, when you're out shopping. They had the lid taped on so it wouldn't, you know, fall off. Well, of course, when I get home and I take the tape off, I've got a nice crack inside of here. So I'm sorry to say that will probably diminish my value uh, on these. But I only paid uh, two bucks for them. So... Uh, I hope to still get around twenty dollars on these. So I hope everybody's hearing us or hearing me, anyways. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'll just keep on trucking here. Um, found this elephant whiskey decanter. Kind of interesting, and it looks like when I, I well we did do some re research on this already. And it's got a, got this square top, and it looks like something sat in this decant on top of this decanter, which I don't have. Um, but I know there's a lot of elephant collectors out there, and uh, so you know I picked that up for a whole buck. So we're going to put that up for around fifteen or twenty bucks as well. Okay. All right. A lot of ceramics this past weekend. Uh, maybe some of you have seen these, or maybe some of you have these up for sale. These are Budweiser. Um, it's, it's actually a pot of gold. Really a nice shape. Um, here's the bottom. Let me see if I can get that a little better into it. And the, it is called the Luck of the Irish Pot of Gold Budweiser Beer Mug. I paid $3.50 for this one. So hopefully getting around 25 bucks on my return here. And the one mug had still had the uh, certificate of authenticity in it. So that was kind of neat. So that up. They were asking 10 bucks. I got them for seven. Everything, you guys know me pretty well by now. Everything here that you see, I, of course, I bartered for. Uh, I didn't pay the original price on anything that I'm showing you today. Jason, have you seen these? The Paris decanters? And from Vegas? No. Um, see, there's this, the hole for the straw. And definitely comes in the two pieces. And I, I wasn't quite sure. I, I, the lady says, give me an offer. So I offered her a dollar. Okay. And um, in looking these up, these are bringing some good money. Uh, we're going to put this up for 25 bucks. Okay. So there you are. So those of you going into it, into into uh, into Vegas, you can't. If you, I don't know if they, I, what I don't know, Jason, if they still have these anymore. Do you know if they do? Yes, no, don't know. I don't know. Okay, all right, okay, um, okay. Any of you, uh, a lot of you know that I went to Disney uh, here about a week or so ago. 
And as we were out thrifting yesterday, um, I found the original Mickey Mouse uh, Clubhouse. Uh, I am missing two pieces out of it. The woman had 20 bucks on it. She sold it to me for 10. Um, and it's, it, it actually, in doing my research, um, let me see, I think I might as well take time to take things out of the box. Like here's the little um, bleacher stand. I, I'm not sure whether I'm going to sell this as a whole or individually because some of the individual pieces are going for big money. And, um, you know, like I, the, the little dies that go with it. Here's the house. Okay. And I will show you the... Remember, how many of you remember Weeble Wobbles out there? Well, these are actually Weeble Wobbles. And we have Mickey. Let me see if I can get this up here, guys. Hold on one second. Let me, let me get this set a little better. Okay. Now I can see better. Here's the Mickey. Okay. And this is Karen. Remember Karen and Cubby? Anybody remember them? <laughs> I do. I grew up with it. I was president of the Spin and Marty fan club. This was Billy, okay? And there's only four characters that come with them. And our last one is Pluto. Okay, now the four little people alone would bring me some very good money. So that, that's why I'm debating. Um, and these are all the other pieces and parts that came with it. There's a flagpole, you know, with this, uh, when you hook it up into the game, you put the little character in the flagpole and he, he shimmies down the flagpole. So we have that. There's a light, there's a seesaw. In a mailbox what i was missing out of this there is a um the the cardboard that goes underneath that was not with it and then the camera which is whoop, get back right there so there's only two pieces i'm missing but i'm still debating on whether or not to um to sell these as uh individual or as a whole so if anybody's got any information on that let me know okay hold on See if we can pick it up here. Yeah. Hello. It says connecting. Right back. Okay. Yeah, honey. What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna leave the show and try to come back. You might get lost, but I'll try. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Hold on, gang. We're gonna give it a whirl. I'm sure Jason's in a tizzy. Never fun when technical difficulties roll around. Okay. Maybe I need to rejoin. I don't know. Should I rejoin? Okay. Hello? I don't hear you. <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay. All right. Bomber. That's a shame, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. You might be calling me back? Do you want me to... I'm not sure which... I no, I can't hear you. Talk. Oh, okay. Just keep on rolling. All right. I'll just keep on rolling. Okay. So that's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. If anyone's got any insight as to whether I should sell separately or, you know, individually, uh, I mean, uh, as a whole, let me know because um, maybe you've sold one of these before or have had some luck with it. Um, the next thing we found, this is pretty cool and it's heavy. This is a complete set. Does anybody remember the name Melmac Dishes? I had a, Regan and I had a set when we first got married, so that was in the 60s. And we found this complete set in the original box. If you can see, it's a, a, a place setting for four. Four dishes, four coffee cups, and the creamer and sugar. Hello? Ooh, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, I'm doing it for the iPad now. Okay, all right. So Hello. I'm showing this Melmac, a set of dishes that... 
uh, we found, like I said, I found these, and Regan and I had a set of, of Melmac when we got married, so that was the big thing in the 60s, everybody. And uh, we ended up with, what did we pay for this? We paid $3, and we're going to put it up for 50 bucks. This, this is a pretty good find here, because it's still in the original box, and was made in Cleveland. I mean, it's got the, uh, where does it say that? Here, right here, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland 9, Ohio. You like the zip codes back then, everybody? That was a zip code? That well, yeah, that's what they used back oh, then. My. Yeah. All right. So here's what's going on. I, my brand new computer is just not even coming on anymore. So uh -huh. where the technology failed us today was the actual desktop computer was plugged into a wall. Uh -huh. So we're gonna redo this show. I mean, we're gonna finish up. I'll, we'll do your scores here in a bit. Uh, okay. But w what we were trying to do today does work if the computer running the show works, and that's yeah. where we failed today. So. So if if everybody if you guys were just doing it phone to phone it probably would be working just fine. Oh yeah, yeah. But when my computer failed, yeah, I am so sorry. I I really apologize. This is this is the most embarrassing show I've ever done. So well, I'm very I'm very sorry, everyone. It happens. It happens. All right. Well, I have a couple more things to show. Okay. Um, so you show, and then I will get, bring up your scores from this week. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm still showing my last two items. That that's I, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get your scores good. ready. Uh, oh, did I show this one? I showed the one Budweiser. Did I show the other one? I don't think right, I did. Hang on a minute. Let me get you back on the main. I think you're on the main. Okay. Oh, what a bummer. This is not how I planned my day. All right. Of course cool. not. Of course not. So, yeah, this, uh, I was, I bought the same, uh, the two together, and they were asking $10 for the pair, and I got them for $7, uh, so $3.50 each. And, um, again, oops, let's get that. And uh, I, uh, I think, we're, like I said, we're putting these up for some decent money. So there's that. Now, Jason, are you ready for this one? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Ah <laughs> What? Get out. And Dad thought I was crazy. I, this is, I have to educate him a little better, I guess, because these are the originals. This is what I had bought for Jason uh, back when he was young, and uh, and the Star Wars thing hit. So these, the, they're. They're a, the fitted sheet, but the elastic is worn out, but I didn't care. It was a dollar, you know. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put them up for yet uh, because even if they don't want to use it as the bed sheet, which they probably won't, they might want to use the material for making, you know, curtains or a pillow yeah. or, or whatever. So that, that was excited when I saw that, JT. Okay, here's my exciting find. Here's my exciting find, Jace. You probably have one, but I don't. Mm, I, I don't think I have one, actually. You don't? Matter of, fact, matter of fact, I was watching one on eBay the other day. Really? Okay. Well, um, here's their, their golden side. For those of you who don't know, it is a tiki mug. It's a barrel. It came from this restaurant. Uh, 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 I think it's Kuwa in Chinatown in San Francisco. And, and Jason, I, I was doing some research. Is it no longer open, or is that restaurant still there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's no longer open. It's no longer open. That's what I thought, and, and what little that I did do. There are no markings on the bottom. I did get on Tiki Central this morning to try and do some research, but the last known uh, one that sold, I think it's been a year ago, and that was around 65 bucks. Uh, what are you watching now, honey? Oh, you know, I just had one on my watch list because I was looking at it. Um... Well, she had... It just depends on how nice you are to mom because I did find a... Oh, yeah, I can quit watching one on eBay now. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, she had four dollars for the pair. I got them for two dollars for the pair, so a buck a piece. That's my mom. Yeah, uh, well, you're gonna have to uh, cough up something big to get that one from me. So somebody said, "I'm guessing this isn't the first fiasco Jason has gotten Peg into." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look, look. I know it's not my fault, but I'm still gonna apologize. This was not the show I had envisioned, obviously. Yeah, I'm very course. sorry. It, it was everything was running good until my computer said no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, that's that's too bad. It really is. Yeah. So, all right, so just just in case anybody should happen to be finding these out there, I mean, like I say, the last one that I saw sold, Jace, was sixty-five bucks, honey. So you know, I don't, I'm not sure what's out there right now, but you know, I was I was excited because I, I walked right over to him. I, I mean, I you know, you know how you get that feeling when you see something, and you say, oh wait, I think this is a good one. And uh, and it was and it was. Um, Hi. All right. Well, that's about all of my haul. All right. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not sure who's controlling the. Um, 
the show and the whole thing okay. might be froze now. Unbelievable. No. Oh. Or am I having computer problems with all my computers? <laughs> what a bummer. Yay, technology. Screw you, technology. Is anybody talking to you in the chat? Uh, well, that's what everything was frozen on the YouTube, so I'm trying to re... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't... We might not be on the air anymore. I don't know. No. What was that little uh, What was that little Mickey Mouse uh, thing you were showing? That was pretty neat. Yeah, did you like that? That's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's an original. I, you know, I'm missing two pieces. The cardboard underneath and the little uh, movie camera. Yeah, but... And what the, the research on these, honey, I think I'm going to make more money if I sell some things individually. Yeah, that's always a good way to do it. Yeah, so I, I, I just might do that because the, the Weeble Wobble, so, well, the one Weeble Wobble of Pluto sold for $14. One. You know, so. So do we know if we're on? We don't know. Well, I'm switching Wi Fi networks, so let me see if that'll fix the problem on the one computer. Okay. So, yeah, this is just. This is a bizarro land right now. Yeah, it's too bad. I'm in, I'm in uncharted territory. I've never had yeah. this much of an issue. Yep, I don't know. We might not even be able to do your scores. Okay, that's all right. I'm, I'm so very bummed right now. We can save them. Yep. All right, I think I'm going to pull Well, let me, let me try one more thing. You know, okay. I, I, I just don't know. Uh... Okay. But I can't. My, this computer ain't working now, so I don't even know what to do. I know. You got anything else to share, Ma? Uh, no, I, I showed all of my haul stuff. All okay. right. I mean, I, I can't even get back to the YouTube chat. Uh-oh. Uh, let me try one you're moving in huh? two things now. I see you in two different screens moving. Oh, I know, because I got... Yeah. Um, let me try... Nope. Let me try something else. Yeah, this is just... Uh... This is what we uh, politely call the shit show. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Sorry, everybody, if you can still hear us. <laughs> yeah, Stacey says we're on. She's watching us downstairs, flounder oh. around the big TV. Okay, all right. I, okay. I, I, I just can't control anything anymore, so. Oh, wait, what's happening? Oh, uh, well. I see you frozen. Oh, really? <laughs> not not on the actual show, on my computer. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, so we'll, we'll have to revisit this train wreck of a show. <laughs> Once I go visit Apple and punch somebody in the face, I guess. Ah. Um, because the problem is you don't know how to do screen share real well, so. No, I'm sorry. All right, but let's 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 end on a, a happy note because uh, you want to share something, and um. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was I, about uh something you sold. So. Right. Right. Uh, last week, um, I think I t I mentioned on the show I talked to a a, a, a woman who bought. Uh, a, a, one of my Dumbo figurines of, from Walt Disney that I had thrifted here back a few weeks ago, you guys. And uh, she had sent me a nice note you know, via email uh, to thank me so much, and I, th I read that on air. Well, in the mail this week, I got a nice thank you. It's a little bit long, but let's try and we'll leave the show on an uplifting note. Uh, and I, I you know, didn't recognize the address, of course, and I said, well, what the heck is this? So uh, she says, Dear Peggy, you sent a personal, beautiful note to assure me of 100% perfect mailing and invoice notification for Dumbo. No, now, right I can't. You're on. I can hear you. Okay. Right. Uh, right away, I'm thinking, oh, God, it, it arrived broken. You know how you start to get that feeling. She says, you are the image of grace and professionalism. Thank you so much for the extra mile you went for me. You accepted my reduced offer, but it will only induce more business and blessings to complete to come your way. My budget is so limited due to our disabilities, but Dumbo went to my sister-in-law, who was informed that two painful, awful, useless knee surgeries and rehab from Hades will now result in spinal invasive uh, surgery. She is a good person, no an angel like you. When she got the box unexpectedly and found your exquisite collectible and original package flawless, she was speechless with joy. The shock of uh, her, her DX, whatever DX is, I don't know, was, was temporary, but welcomely abate for a long, long time. Peggy, 
Each well-wisher who came to her was treated to the pride on her face and in her voice. You will be remembered in our hearts, prayers, and eBay shopping like crazy. Someone willing to sacrifice profit over goodness of a, gold, of a golden heart is reserved in our Lord's special commemoration. Uh, I cannot thank you enough for all you did. I forgot to ask you for no invoice enclosed. You caught that as well. Because I, I figured she didn't want the woman to see what she paid, so of course I did not include my uh, my invoice. Hugs and health and happiness, and however, and, and my best wishes, Betty Nelson. So I just thought that was so sweet. And and again, you know, this is just going back to, you don't get that if you sell on other venues. Uh, eBay, you have that personal touch, and I really enjoy that. I'm sure a lot of you do. When when they do reach out to you, it doesn't that just make your day? Uh, so that was a, that was a thrill, and I will keep this one. Well, I have one too. So we'll, we'll, we'll end on a. I think I might be on the screen now. Who knows? Yeah. I'm, uh -huh. I'm so sorry, everyone. Both, yeah. both my computers said, "Hey Jay, we hate you today." <laughs> so I got a note to big guy. That'd Aww. be me. That'd be me. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, it was somebody I helped helped with a little bit of a problem, and uh, she said, "Jason, thanks a million for your advice, especially for your precious time." I remember Chris Green saying on his show that you had the best intentions. And your goal to help people was sincere. I learned that firsthand that he was right. Enjoy the swizzles in very good health. Thanks again. And so not as awesome as your mug, but uh, she had Ooh. Don the Beachcomber. Oops, I'm upside down. Okay, upside down. Your problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don the Beachcomber swizzles. Wow. Uh, a whole bunch of them. So I got like 20 downstairs right now. So nice. I'll, send you, I'll send you a few of those, Ma. Yeah. But yes, I do. Uh, I do. Uh, you know. When people send you old school letters, that's pretty cool. I know it's really nice, and that that personal touch that you know that you get with eBay is is it's a great feeling. It really is, and uh, like nice to nice to nice to get that. That's for sure. Hey, so, uh, Stacy, real quick, Stacy, if you're hearing this, don't turn your uh, tablet off. I want to see it when we end this show. I want to see what it looks like. So hold on to your tablet, hon. Okay. Um, next right. Monday, uh, we'll probably have to shoot for around the same. Same time slot since I goofed up on some tickets I thought I had for today or for next Sunday. <laughs> hey, let's tell a funny story right before we leave because we should. Sure. Yeah, else. let's do it because this is pretty good. All right, so this is a like mother like son uh, story. Yes. So uh, our friends Jim and Robin, who were trying to help us out with the video chat, are in town this weekend, and they came in town because we were going to this concert that we're going to tonight. We were supposed to go to two months ago or three months ago, and the lead singer broke his neck. I know it's crazy. He's already back. Nice. He broke his neck, <clears throat> so they scheduled it for this Sunday. So, all right, we'll, we'll come into town. And we just noticed that uh, Jersey Boys was ending, and Jim and Robin and our friends Vicky and Ryan had not seen it yet. So I decided, let, let's, and it was a buy one, get one for locals. I said, hey, let's go on Friday night. And then last night was the big UFC fight. And so we'll have everybody over to our house. We'll watch the fight, and then we'll go to uh, Marilyn Manson and Slipknot tonight. So we're all out of the shower, getting dressed, ready to leave on Friday night to go to um, – to go to Jersey Boys, and for whatever reason, I looked at my phone right before we left, and it said, oh, I bought tickets for Saturday. Hey, 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 I bought tickets. <laughs> so we were all dressed and ready, so we ended up going out to dinner last night, but we couldn't watch the fights last night because we had tickets for Jersey Boys. And let me tell you, not the first time I've done this, and well, I'm sure it won't be the last time. And so Mom said, we have to do the show earlier today because I'm going to Kinky Boots tonight. But when do you go to Kinky Boots, Mom? Uh, next Sunday. <laughs> oh, next Sunday. See, like I, I get up today. I'm, I'm going with my sister, and uh, <laughs> I get up today and I give her a ring and I say, "Well, what time you want to leave tonight? Do we want to eat dinner beforehand, or, or just go, you know, just down to go to the show?" She says, "What the hell are you talking about?" And I said, our, our, "Our show tonight, Kinky Boots." And she says, "She says, Peg, that's next week." I said, "Are you sure?" She says, "Yes, I'm sure." And it is. It's for next Sunday. So. <laughs> so all I can say is, see, Stacy, Ryan, Vicky. Uh, Robin and Jim. It's not me. It's where I came from. Oh, no, mine's an age thing. I can I can say that. I can uh, I can I can do the age thing. Senior moment. Now I, all I gotta say is thank God I noticed before we left because had we drove into the strip, ooh. parked our car, walked up to the venue, and they went, oh no. Yeah, yeah, not fun. That would have not no. been. Fun. No, 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 no. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to Apple tomorrow to fix this computer, see what's wrong, and. Um, we will do this exact show uh, again with uh, hopefully better results. Yeah. And uh, but just proves that you know, although technology is awesome and helpful, it can uh, screw you up. So when it does, you try and fix it, and then you just right. roll with the punches. Right. Um, I think next week we might be showing you how to file a claim. Oh, with the yeah. 
So yeah, we won't, I, I, we won't, we won't repeat this exact show next week. Yeah. But mom, uh, we had talked about this, uh, about how to file a claim when you have breakage. And like the day after we had our show, we talked about it. Mom had a breakage. So you can't after, talk about those things. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hey, I'm going to win a million dollars. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're gonna go, we're gonna do mom's claim live on the air all the way to the end, so you yeah. can actually see it live. So make sure that if you've ever had, because I see people they have all these issues all the time. Oh, it's, it's not that it's not that hard, especially once you do it and you know it. But we'll we'll walk mom through it, and so you can see it from start to finish. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for hanging in there. I can't <laughs> see the chat no more. I don't know if you're all saying Jason sucks. Screw you. I don't know what. Uh, if you're saying don't worry about it, I have no idea. I have no idea. We're sorry. I don't know if we're on the air. I really don't even have a clue anymore. So big apologies for those if you are hearing us. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, <everybody. laughs> sorry, Ma. That's okay. Things happen, honey. Yeah, hey, thanks. You, 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 well, it wasn't planned this way. That's for now, sure. At least you had stuff to show. So I know people got some good out of that. So I hope. I hope. Hope we helped a little bit today, everybody. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> oh, so if we're still on the air, two shows coming up this week besides. Mom and I. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tuesday night, I'm doing a thrift haul throwdown with Margaret Collier. She has Texas Gal Treasures on YouTube. And mm -hmm. we got some fun, man. We got 21 categories, and we need live viewers to vote. It's going to be like uh, coolest hat, funkiest purse, ugliest piece of art. So it's all stuff we found in 21 categories. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That is Tuesday night at uh, 8 p.m. East Coast, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Okay. And um, we have fun categories like, why the hell did I buy this? Because this bitch is going to be tough to ship. Yeah. <laughs> All right? So tune in for that. Then, just announce her. Actually, you're getting the scoop right here. The guest this week on Thrifty Business with Jay and A is none other than the man, the myth, the legend, John Lawson. So oh, yeah. If you know John, you know John. Yeah. If you don't know That's John... John started out selling online on eBay and Amazon 100 years ago and has, has went beyond that and built himself a nice uh, cottage industry around being John Lawson. So uh, John is a person I look up to. And when John speaks, you listen and you learn. And if you're a speaker and you're good, like I think I'm a good speaker, but when I listen to John speak, I pay attention because besides the information he's given, he's a really good public speaker. So yes. uh, John's going to talk about his story and we're going to shoot the breeze so you do not want to miss John Lawson. And no. then Sunday, well, Mom and I will be back. So three yeah. good shows next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I might even throw a haul in there if I can fix this computer. That's all <laughs> going to be contingent on this computer. <laughs> all righty dighty. All right, Ma. Have fun at your non-existent show, and I'm going to a concert tonight. <laughs> I right, will enjoy that. I'm going to watch the closing ceremonies on the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks, gang. We're out. <laughs>